Hey everyone. Pastor asked me the other day to prepare the joy of giving for this morning's service, and I can't tell you how much that pleased me because my life has been a joy because of giving. I was first introduced to tithing or giving back when I was just a child. My father was a preacher's kid, and my mother was a giver from as far back as I can remember. When I was five years old, I gave my heart to Jesus, and from that time until this, I have learned about the concept of tithing, which means giving a tenth of whatever I have to the Lord. My father told me stories when I was growing up of how people from his father's church would bring their tithes into the house uh, in the form of groceries and their crops for his family. Growing up in the Appalachian Mountains of West Virginia, dad's family was poor. They were poor coal miners with large families. Dad was one of 15 children, and they were poor. It's funny, according to dad, how a new bag of groceries would show up right on time when they were almost out of food. Excuse me, food. God always provided for every need right on time. My dad was my first employer, and he taught me the concept of giving to the Lord. He taught me how to tithe. The tithe is 10% of your increase. If I receive $10, then $1 of it belongs to the Lord because it was God who gave the increase to begin with. I have always followed this, those principles until this day. I believe that my life is blessed more because I learned to be a giver. Giving is a principle that Jesus taught throughout all the scripture. Luke 6:38 records, give and it shall be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, will it be put into your lap. For the measure which you give will be measured back to you. You've heard the expression that you reap what you sow. This is a biblical concept. If you sow big, your harvest will be big. If you sow small, your harvest will be small. I have practiced tithing all of my life on everything that I have not just my finances. It includes my time, my talent, and my treasure. I have reaped more blessings than I can possibly count. As an example, back in the year 2000, I had been out of work for almost 10 months after getting out of the Army. I was living in Louisiana. I couldn't find a job at that time because I had an education. That is what one banker told me when I went and applied for a job at her bank. Every time the church doors were open, I was in church. I always had my hand raised every time pastor would ask for a prayer request. I would tell the church, I need a job. I need a good job. And pastor would always say, she needs a good job. So they prayed for months and months. I was making $784 a month on unemployment, and that was it. And that unemployment only lasted six months, not like it is today. That year I had to declare bankruptcy and unemployment was running out in two months. The Lord had given me a part-time job with H&R Block, but unemployment again was about to run out. And every time I made a paycheck from H&R Block, unemployment would take a portion of my benefits because I was making $6.50 an hour and working 20 hours a week. But God was so faithful to make ends meet, even though I was worried about where the money was going to come from. When I came home from bankruptcy court one day, I was feeling bad because the court was going to make me give back my little bitty tax refund that I had gotten when I exited the military. I was devastated. Where was that money going to come from? It was about $2,800, but it might have been $2 million. I didn't know where the money was going to come from and how God was going to provide it. But when I got home from court that day, there was a message on my answering machine from a lady who worked in the human resources office at Fort Polk. I called her back and she asked me if I wanted a job. My heart was about to beat out of my chest. And I said, yes, ma'am, I want a job. She told me that she had a job for me and when could I start? I told her two weeks because I knew that I had to let H&R Block know about my job. She said that I will see you in two weeks and told me where to report. 
Before I got off the phone with her, I had to ask her, what job is it? What kind of job do you have? And she said, it's a budget analyst. I looked up to heaven and I started to laugh. The reason I was in bankruptcy court was I didn't bankrupt, or I was not budgeting my money well. But I was going to budget the money for the federal government. That was God's personal joke for me. I couldn't budget, but God was going to have me budget for the, for the government. I asked her what the pay grade was, thinking it was maybe a GS-5, GS-6, GS-7 at the most, which paid about, at that time, twenty to $25,000 a year. She told me it was a GS-9 that paid almost $40,000 per year, and I was about to shout. After thanking her and hanging up the phone, I just had to shout a while and thank God for what God had done for me. This past June, I retired after 31 years of federal service. My 10 years in the military was added to that time for a total of 31 years. And I've stayed with H&R Block for these past 22 years because they were the only ones to give me a job when I got off of active duty. For me, it's a labor of love. Don't ever doubt that God doesn't have the resources or the will to take care of God's own. What God did for one, God will do for another. Ephesians chapter 3, verses 20 to 21 says, Now to Jesus, who by the power at work within us is able to accomplish abundantly far more than we can ever imagine or think. To God be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen.